one thing is, can't be afraid of the bees. We are back at SeaWorld San Antonio with sunglasses, sunscreen, and uh, water. Um, we are here for Red, White, and Barbecue Festival that they have going on. On a very hot day, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, the sun is the sun is radiating. <laughs> the heat is radiating. But we're very excited. Going to try out some of their food, and also I'm going to see if I can redeem my voucher for the trainer for a day that I earned. So yeah, Yay. come along with us. So they do have a sampler lanyard for sale. It's about $40. If you're not a pass member, you only get five pouches. But if you are a pass member, you will get seven. Kansas City Barbecue has a nice setup here. Definitely lots of shade, which is good. I'm in the shade, I am happy. Oh, it's a little piggy! <laughs> it's a little piggy. My heart is so happy. One, the pig. Two, Carolina barbecue. Oh, look, they have little pigs over here, too. Oh I feel like I'm in North Carolina again. <laughs> I feel like I'm in North Carolina. I can't eat this as a sandwich yet because there's like so much pork on here. But it's nice, like they're giving such a nice portion size. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what they what sauce this is though. It's kind of like a spicy something. Oh, okay, I don't know, I didn't pay attention. Oh but it's just a nice little hush puppy. This pork sandwich is so good. I don't even think it really needs the barbecue sauce, but because it's so juicy, but the barbecue sauce is delicious. It's a little more tangy than I remember growing up with. I don't approve of the coleslaw because typically with like the white coleslaw, you use a mayonnaise-based dressing. And then with like red coleslaw, you use a vinegar-based. But this is still really good. I prefer the creamy-based coleslaw on my pork sandwiches. Uh, but that's just me. I don't know if it's because I don't have a lot of meat on my side, but uh, this just tastes like a regular barbecue to me. <laughs> That's I'm, good. I'm not a barbecue connoisseur. It's good. And I am excited that North Carolina was represented. Yes. <laughs> it likes the barbecue. Oh no. It wants the hush puppies. It wants the hush puppies.
tried the blue bonnet drink yeah texas blue bonnet from the texas barbecue stand i've had it before from the uh, lone star lone star bar yeah lone star bar i don't remember names of things anyway i've had it before and it's very good i can't tell you what's in it but it's <laughs> really delicious sea world i feel like sea world does a really good job with balancing their flavors for their alcoholic drinks specifically um because everything i ever get is so delicious so oh. um, yeah, what do you think, Brandon? That was great. Uh, I only had a little bit of it, but I don't know. Like I, I've had it, like you said, at the I think it's called the Lone Star Lake Bar. Yeah. And we just had a little sampling here, so I only got a little bit of it, but it tasted great. Would totally get it again. Have the barbecue pork mac and cheese looks super delicious can't wait to dive into this as well as the scottish tea i have no idea what's in here i already took a sip it is amazing got some of that wish there was a little bit more sauce like more barbecue sauce or more cheese sauce uh barbecue sauce yeah but still good. You can, like you can never go wrong with uh, pulled pork and mac and cheese. I mean, maybe you can. The bites that I've gotten have been saucy, but you want to? Should we mix it all mm -hmm. together? And now the drink. So what is in that? I don't remember. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Cutty Sark. Oh, peach, peach schnapps. schnapps. That's right. Peach schnapps mixed with lemon and lime juice. And I love peach schnapps, that's okay. why I wanted it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever tried peach schnapps, so. Oh, really? Turns out I'm a fan. <laughs> My favorite drink for a long time was the like a fuzzy navel. Next week we'll definitely take advantage of the brisket fries. Because they look delicious, but we are getting full. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired and <laughs> hot. Uh, hot and tired. I'm getting sweaty and hot, but I don't know <laughs> if I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm always tired. <laughs> I think we're going to make one more stop at the Hawaii barbecue. Yeah. Maybe get with something from the Hawaii barbecue. Yeah, we have two more, two, two more stamps left. I've been thinking about a Mai Tai, even though we've already had two drinks. <laughs> Whew, we've been sharing. It, there's small drinks and we've been sharing them, so. Yeah, right. So. <laughs> anyway. And then I think we might head out today. Yeah. Because it's hot. It's hot. The Mai Tai has dark rum, amaretto, orange curacao, and it is mixed with lime juice. All right, let me try it. Actually, yeah, it's still pretty good. It's not as, I, don't, I think I don't like it as much as the, um, how would we get at the Memphis? Oh, the Scottish tea. Mm -hmm. Scottish, Scottish tea. tea was great. Mai Tai is still pretty good. 
Right. <laughs> So we had wanted to go back to the park and try some more food, but we both actually started coming down with something the following week. Luckily, we both have gotten over it this past week. Um, I've actually fully gotten over it. I went for a two mile run yesterday, so I'm good. <laughs> but if you can, get out to SeaWorld, try out some of their barbecue. Uh, the event is going until September 2nd. And thank you all for watching. Uh, as always, remember to hydrate because water should be free in the parks. But until next time, bye. Here is a shot of the Hawaii barbecue. I am way off in the distance. And what was that? <laughs> oh, it's still behind, it's still right next to you.